Hey guys, I'm the Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple today released iOS 15 Developer Beta 3. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over everything that's new with the latest updates. There's actually quite a bit to talk about. Some interesting changes happening with Beta 3 here. Now, public beta testers, this is not out for you just yet, but you can anticipate another update for you guys and the public beta testing program within the next 24 hours for Beta 3, maybe even by the time you watch this video. But Apple also, of course, updated all their other platforms alongside iOS 15 we have Mac OS Monterey beta 3 is now available of course iOS 15 beta 3 iPad OS 15 beta 3 is now out watch OS 8 beta 3 is available and TV OS 15 beta 3 so as per usual Apple updated all their platforms to the latest beta today again public beta testers you'll probably see this update later today or within 24 hours now i have this iphone here running beta 2 so i can share with you guys some key differences between the two software so beta 2 and beta 3 here so the first thing i want to talk about is within settings here if we go over to general and scroll all the way to the bottom here under transfers and reset iPhone, you see that before it was just reset iPhone. So now we have a transfer or reset iPhone in comparison to reset iPhone only. And there's a lot happening here right now, as you can see right here. At the bottom, we only have two options, reset or erase all content and settings. And on the top here, we have get started for a new iPhone. So prepare for a new iPhone option is now available. Instead of having all these options that you see here on the right, I'm not sure if Apple will continue to add some of these options to the list here. I'm hoping so, because there's a lot of things missing from beta three that are in beta two. We only have reset and erase all content and settings here but the new option to get started here this is a new feature that will prepare your current iphone to transfer all your data even if you don't have enough icloud storage to transfer it over to a new device when you buy a new iphone and this will walk you through a step by step i think it makes sense to have this in here uh, i did have a video on this here but apple has changed the settings over to the reset options which is now transfer or reset iphone which is something rather interesting as i mentioned probably more options will be available in that particular category in the near future now the next thing i want to talk about is the app store when you launch the app store on the latest beta we now get a new splash screen here this one that you see right here and this one shows you uh, some of the new things within the app store so we have in-app events so these uh, will be events within the actual app applications or games that you're playing if they have something going on these will be displayed directly within the application so that's something new we also have app store widgets and this uh, directly pertains to the widget on the home screen here that you can add which shows you events and things that are happening within the app store itself and we also have here safari extensions for ios you can find helpful browser extensions in safari new safari extensions categories so speaking of safari there's also changes to safari so i think these are going to be welcome additions to those of you that don't like the new ui for safari but let's head on over to apple's website here on both betas and let me show you what some of the key differences here are are. So take a look here on the right. So now if we tap on the bottom here for uh, typing a URL or a website, you see how that goes all the way to the top on the latest beta it stays within the keyboard i think this is a welcome addition i prefer this because i just think that animation for the bar going all the way to the top there I, I just don't like that way that looks the way it handles that so right here it stays within the keyboard i think it's a lot more practical and a lot more useful and apple is continuing to tweak the safari experience so take a look at that once again tap on the search tab here it goes all the way to the top the new beta it stays within the keyboard a lot cleaner in my opinion i prefer the new beta in terms of safari ui changes but of course this is just a quick overall view of some of the latest changes within beta 3 expect my follow-up video where i take a deeper dive into the software within the next 24 to 48 hours i'll be uploading a follow-up video with additional new features and changes and things that i come across within the software that i don't come across after using it for about an hour or two so make sure to subscribe stay tuned for that thank you for watching this quick update on ios 15 beta 3 hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one. Peace.